Today is going to be my second day doing this task, but it's going to be uh, the only video I'm going to make. So, I'm using this tool here, um, which is going to compress the springs, and we're going to install everything in here, one by one. We start by the exhaust side, which is this top part, um, and then we go to the uh, intake side. And so this is the bottom part. And this is the top part of the head. So you see I already did two. And we just have 22 more to go. So it's important to start by wiping everything out. Um, I've cleaned before, but you know, it's been sitting for a while so there's dust in there I'm gonna put some assembly lube on the uh, end of the stem right so I'm gonna put some uh, like this and now we're gonna shove it in there so you can see in there and I'm gonna put it in there and when you push it should come out right in here through that seal and now everything we're gonna do will be on this side except uh, for when uh, we start compressing the spring. So I'm gonna get this base plate here. I'm gonna put um, assembly lube on the bottom, tiny bit, and we're gonna put it in there. Then you gotta have a tool. It's good to have a magnet and some other tools that is gonna help you to uh, pick those parts in there. So it's right at the end, sits at the end. Well, as you see there, it doesn't bother anything. Okay, so spring, we get assembly lube on the bottom part. I put like this, put in there, move it, and here, it's cleaning. Assembly lube right here and also twist a little so now it's good in there now is the challenge um, we need to put the two little clip things and this is how it works we got the stool be careful to not scratch anything put on the bottom part and be sure that it's covering only the valve it's not touching the walls and you start compressing and compressing then you're gonna see the valve stem coming up see that the valve stem is up see the difference this is the one installed it's flush almost and this is like way up so now we need to get the two little here things little clip things there's a name for this I never remember and I put some assembly lube in there and we put one in one side one in the other side and then we release this the spring should stay in there. So I'm gonna do that a few angles and just see if you can see like closer and further and all that stuff. Okay, so this is what I'm doing. Uh, if I had a pair of tweezers, there would be much easier, but I get my magnet, put this thing up here, put some assembly lube in there. There you go. Uh, and move that and shove that guy in there if you have a pair of tweezers is better because you don't have the magnet trying to fight with anything else like now see I'm pulling that magnet and the thing pull, comes off <laughs> so Try again. All right. 
So I put the two in there. I'm gonna try to get a, a better view of that later, but doing another one, but take it out of there. And I should just open enough so I can go to the next one. So as you see, there's the uh, camshaft space. We just do it and we're there. So three down. Let's do one more. There you go. I need to go this way a little bit. Yep. All right. So that's down. Uh, we have the spring with assembly lube. Twist in there. Down. We have the retainer with assembly lube with assembly lube in it. Down. And now we are going to do our compressing part. Sorry, the camera is right on my way. But I guess you can see what's going on. So that space is what we are looking for. The distance between uh, those parts, the spring and the stem, the valve stem, and and since I have the magnet, I'm gonna try to put it on the bottom. Okay, it's enough in there. <laughs> Come on. There you go. So that one is down. Now let's go for the second one. So I only need to have enough to drop in there. Nice. And now I can use this tool to put it in place, drop down where it's supposed to be. I'm gonna squeeze a tiny bit more. There we go. I hope you were able to see all of this. But that's it. And done. So I'm going to do a few more. Maybe a time lapse. A few more. But I'm not sure if I'm going to time lapse the whole thing. Because this is going to be boring. Um, I just hope you could see how um, the little um, the holders uh valve retainers I'm gonna maybe put the name here if I figure that out but um, so there are the springs there are the retainers which are those guys here right that goes on top of the springs and then those two locking things I don't know how that's called so anyway it, it's pretty simple but it's boring because you need to put those in place if you have a pair of tweezers long one it's awesome because you just drop in there and then good to go. You have no waste no time. I'm wasting a lot of time. So that's what I do. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just put the all the valves. I'm gonna get I cleaned them up already. I'm gonna get assembly lube and put in all of them. And I'm gonna put them all in there. Then I can uh put the head uh, make it flat on the table and I don't need to worry about um, keep rearranging everything so it's gonna be nice just a, a little let's do all of it at once so start by this one
Yes, it is going to smoke a little bit when it starts because you gotta burn all of this off. And there you go. So all of them are there. And we're not going to do anything different than I did before. It's just going to time lapse, okay? All right, so Henry Ford style is better. Uh, put a bunch of them at once, a bunch of the uh, valves, and and then start doing all the springs, all the retainers, and then just put the clip on top. Uh, that was actually faster. I got all the exhaust done quickly. I don't even know how long. What time is it? It's 12.40, midnight. So yeah, I think uh, 1.30 I'll be done with this. 1.30 a.m. A.m. Yeah, man. done check it out all of those there is just one bad news for me I lost one keeper keeper are those little things in here Can you see this this here the one that we are using to uh, to secure the spring in there um, so I learned how to do it quickly, but when I was done with all the um, intake, I realized the exhaust I didn't put on the same order that I took it out. So uh, my guys here, as you can see, I put a number 11, 12, you see, and on the exhaust side I just put like randomly so just to be sure that the uh, the machine shop machined those uh, seats for me uh, I mean probably it did the same um, measurement for all of them but if not it did one on the uh, valve seat one valve two on the valve seat two and so on right so just to avoid having any, uh, you know, leaking uh, pressure from there, I remove a bunch of them and redo a bunch of them on the exhaust. It's almost 4 a.m. already, uh, but unfortunately, I lost one keeper. Oh my God. 
and I heard it fell in here and then went somewhere so yeah. so I'm not sure I don't want to buy those and wait forever to get here because I want this to be done I guess I'm gonna call it a day uh, I'll figure that out and then I'll fix this I tried to find like a lot for lots of minutes and nothing so I will try a little more but I'll win this video here I guess we accomplished what we wanted to which was um, assembling all those paint in the butt keepers and um, yeah so if you are not subscribed to the channel consider subscribing don't forget to leave that little like button sorry I'm kind of sleepy already so don't forget to you know comment share like and all that stuff that helps me a lot it's helping me a lot um, and you know how it goes I'll see you on the next video